Cat Williams was right. I remember watching a comedy special with him and they discussed clone meat for a little bit. And sure enough, the gentleman was right. My, one of my favorite comedians. <laughs> they were supposedly building the largest cattle cloning factory in the world to keep up with demand on this edition of Hippie vs. Jock. folks I've been waiting for it for a while if you actually pay attention to a lot actually I won't say a lot of comedians there were certain comedians out there that used to discuss a lot of stuff and Cat Williams was one of them and during one of these comedy shows that he did he actually had a brief discussion about cloning meat sure enough I looked in the newspaper, I actually saw it a couple days ago. China is working on the largest cloning factory in the world, which they say is they're looking at over 1 million cattle per year to keep up with demand. This is kind of on the line of the artificial milk that I brought up a while back. I think it's kind of weird all this stuff is coming out. <laughs> it's like, I. Uh, I don't know, I'm at some point where I'm not even sure if you can consider it meat. I exactly what will it be fed? What are the repercussions of it more or less? Because there's no way in the world we can keep going on like this. It's kind of like having two of me out there. In reality, it's not supposed to happen. And if you pay attention to just some of the stuff I put out about GMOs where you see the rats that all of a sudden are growing tumors like literally bigger than their body or about the half the size of their body. You kind of got to get curious exactly what this cloned meat might, might cause. It usually takes a while for these tests to figure themselves out after all if you remember way back when you can actually find stuff where the government was telling you cigarettes were good for you <laughs> and they have all this stuff labeled now so i don't know just bringing it to everybody's attention in the headlines soon will be if not already clone meat and I'm sure just like the GMOs they tell us are, are, that are safe, that for some reason they just won't label if it's, if it's safe, they'll probably won't be labeling this stuff. Pretty much nowhere to hide at this point in time. If you're a vegan and you love your vegetables, you got a problem because you got GMOs. If you like meat, you got a, a problem because it consumes up a lot of stuff. Sure enough, if they put nitrates in and, and, and process it, it's not exactly happy when it comes to a, a cancer forgiving food. And now we got this cloning stuff. Who never, who, who never knows, you might get the lady with the third breast that had it made being a little bit more common nowadays, so. I don't know. I'll put some links below. You guys can take a look at it, form your own opinions. But it's getting uh, 
kind of weird as I, I read a lot of these headlines and some of these articles nowadays. Thanks for watching.